we are looking at a way to differentiate our vocabulary instruction for our students. And so I found this template on Slides Mania by Mrs. Evans. And so it's like in the educator created area on her website. And this is my digital vocabulary. So there's gonna be five different levels um, for each quarter. So we have four different quarters. So we'll need to make three of these with different vocab words. Right here is gonna be like level one. This might be like root words or prefixes and suffixes that we really want our students to learn. Then we might have academic vocabulary and um, maybe like book vocabulary if they're reading a current novel um, and then another level of vocabulary as well. On here, it's based off of Bloom's taxonomy. So you can kind of see that it has recall. The students might use like a Quizlet to learn basic recall type of activities, understanding they might complete like a fair model. Right here, they might have to use as many words as they can for two minutes in a conversation with you or a partner and you're listening in. They might have to do three truths and a lie. And then they also for evaluate have to compare and contrast their definitions to their words. Then they might create like a meme activity or they might even create like an emoji comic strip um, using their vocabulary words. Every single day, students are going to do fast and curious. They're going to write their score for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And once they have that score, they should be able to see their improvement from Monday to Friday with that same vocab list. Also down here, again, it's with that Bloom's taxonomy. And so students are practicing those same words, but they're doing different activities to engage and to learn those words. Right here, they have a this or that where they get to pick what kind of activity they would like to create. And so again, it kind of looks the same throughout the different levels. It's just different activities. And so if you have fun engaging vocabulary strategies that work, send them my way and I can add them to the resource bank. Um, would love to be able to add all of those different resources in here. Also with these type of activities, you might give them two weeks to work on level one. And so they might take uh, one day to do recall, but it might take them two days to do understanding. Also maybe for analyzing, you tell them, hey, on Wednesday, you do the words you got wrong. Uh, so they're not doing the whole vocab list. They're just looking at their personalized data and then they are using that data to um, complete different tasks. So again, it may be with applying. I say, look at your Tuesday data. If you miss 10 words, those are the words you're doing, but you got 15, right? You don't have to do those 15. Um, so you can kind of differentiate your instruction as well that way. And every student might have a different vocab word that they are practicing throughout these different activities. Um, so again, it could be a fun way. And if you have ideas or resources, please, please send them my way so we can add them to the resource bank.